Buonasera, family coming tomorrow and uh, I will be making an Italian apple cake with mascarpone. Delicious. Mm. Start by breaking four eggs and uh, place them in a bowl and mix them using an electric hand whisk. Yeah, yeah. And add 200 grams of uh, sugar. Great, and I've got 250 grams of uh, mascarpone cheese here, which I will be adding to the eggs and the sugar. And start slowly again and uh, start blending. I will be adding uh, a couple of hundred grams of uh, self-raising flour next. And uh, what I'll do, every time I add it in, I'll use a spoon to avoid making a mess and then I will uh, switch the machine off and on again. Otherwise it will go everywhere, <laughs> I've learned. <laughs> So gently whisk it together and as the flour get absorbed by the eggs and everything else add a little bit more and keep it on a low on a low setting once your flour has been uh, totally absorbed you can start turning the settings on a higher speed I will also be adding 10 grams, the equivalent of two teaspoons of baking powder and uh, a small teaspoon of uh, cinnamon. Right. Okay, <laughs> great, we're nearly there. I will be peeling four apples, they are eating apples and also I will be removing the core. I'm gonna use this little tool, but uh, you can use a knife, it doesn't really matter. Julie could not wait, she's already done one. <laughs> so just uh, put it in the middle and uh, push it through until you get to the other end and uh, pull it off and uh, job done. I'll do it again. It's quite satisfying actually. That's why I did the first one. I will be peeling a couple first and I'll leave uh, a couple for later. And uh, slice uh, your apples in uh, little wedges first and uh, chop them in little pieces and add them to the mix. And mix uh, your apples with um, all of your um, other mix together so that uh, everything is together. Also the other two apples, I've sliced them into nice even wedges which are, I will be using uh, before they go in the oven. I will be using this baking tin. This is 25 centimeters in diameter and uh, it is uh, seven centimeters deep. And uh, I would recommend, if you can, to buy one with a clip. It's much, much easier when it comes out. If not, use whatever you've got, of course. I've lined it up with um, some uh, baking paper at the bottom. And uh, very simply, just pour in uh, your mix. And uh, using your spatula, just uh, and spread it evenly so that uh, it's all the same uh, height everywhere. By all means, you can actually shake it with your hand if you want as well. Is the whole cover, oh, the whole top supposed to be covered? Yeah. Go around and make a nice, beautiful looking rosette. and uh, sprinkle the top with a little sugar, just normal white sugar. As it caramelizes, this will give a lovely brown color to the cake. It looks lovely. And uh, we're there, we'll uh, put it in the oven. Uh, I've got a fan assisted oven, so it will be 170 degrees for 45 minutes. If you've got a normal oven, 180 degrees also for 45 minutes. See you in 45 minutes. And we are there. <laughs> Doesn't she look beautiful? <laughs> so first thing, to ensure that it's cooked, although it's been there for 45 minutes, just uh, put a skewer through or a toothpick, whatever you might have. And uh, if you get a clear, nothing attached to it, there it's cooked. It's done. It's done. It's been actually sitting here for uh, five minutes now, cooling down. I recommend you do that. And uh, 
with a knife or a palette knife or something similar just go around the edges to ensure that uh, it's not stuck in my case it's doing quite well a little bit here maybe yeah it's all it's all free you'll see that once it cools down a little it shrinks so that's perfectly okay next I'm going to be unclipping it Ta-da! Mm, look at that! Well done! Most impressive. Get hold of a plate or a tray or something similar, like this one. Put it on top of your cake. And very gently turn it around. This should come off very easily. Again, if you're doing this when the cake is slightly cooler, you are less likely to damage it. Although, as you can see, it's mm. coming off nice and easy. Sometimes if you leave it too long, and then it's almost like the plate yeah. can get stuck. So there Do not leave it too long either. No, no, there isn't. There. Well now we'll do a little magic. Stand. And le voila! Oh. Ecco fatto! Look, it's in the middle as well. Wow! <laughs> Looks fabulous, it really does. <laughs> and then the finishing touch is a little icing sugar mixed with some uh, cinnamon, literally half a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon and uh, a small uh, spoon of uh, icing sugar. Mix it together. This is actually quite important because it will add so much more flavour. With a sieve, sprinkle it. If you go up higher, it's better. I think it's mm. enough. Delicious. Well, I wanted to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry, everyone. <laughs> apparently, as it is something for Mother's Day tomorrow, I'm not allowed. <laughs> so I'll test it tomorrow. <laughs> See we'll you tomorrow. Add, we'll add on the end tomorrow. And here we are at the table, Mother's Day, so I better be quick, uh, so they're all waiting for me. <laughs> I'm going to cut a slice, I'd like you to show the inside, okay? Okay. So I'm going to show you the inside where all the pieces of apples are. Mm. Look nice and moist as well, feels moist. The sugar, the icing sugar, has been absorbed overnight. Now we test it. Mm. I'll just uh, pick a piece with my, with my hand. Mmm. Lovely. Lovely. It's moist. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> My mother, you know, is laughing at me. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you later. Bye. Happy Mother's Day.